Hi, I'm Stuart. This is High Five Pig. I'm here with John Franks from, I've got it right this time. That's right. From Cord Electronics. Okay, well, we've been developing some core technologies over the last four years in streaming. Uh, the first product was um, uh, our product called Poly. Which is fantastic. And um, that, that uh, took some time to, uh, to iron out all the, the bugs in the software, but we stuck at it and, and got, got the job done. Uh, but in, in but concurrently at the same time we were developing um, a poly like product for um, Hugo two. And Hugo two is a very high resolution DAC. Okay. So we've we've had this product on the market now for about eighteen months, and it's been selling very successfully. But it didn't have a streaming capability. And now what we've done is is develop a product that um, we'll, we'll we'll give it full streaming capability, um, and th th this product has two SD cards and uh, many other features, automatic switching between uh, players, and, and, and re really it, it's a very advanced uh, streaming unit. Okay. It, it's also got an um, Ethernet as well. Um, but one thing I, we realized is that, that bringing out a product to go solely with uh, one of our own products um, does tend to limit the market a little bit. So we decided that uh, we would um, uh, design um, essentially a protocol converter that would actually form the other half of a complete stream of product. This would actually um, play into any anyone else's DAC um, and also it'll, it'll also play directly into our um, uh, uh, products such as um, the end scaler. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So that that really is it in a nutshell. Um, essentially, it's got uh, SPDF outputs, it's got optical, and it's got uh, USB okay. as well. So it, it'll it'll go into everything. So that is a, a, a those two products. You've okay. announced new. Yes, the yes. Ultima range as, yes, as yes. well, haven't you? I mean, we we we've, we we announced the Ultima amplifier uh, in May last year. The Ultima range of amplifiers um, was based on some work um, uh, by a uh, professor um, in in uh, uh, Essex University, I think it was. That that he he realised that that um, by having additional feed forward error correction amplifiers, one per side. Um, of the um, the amplifier drive circuitry, you could actually modify and take into account any non-linearities of the of the MOSFETs themselves. So it means that you get a very very linear response, very very um, well driven uh, MOSFET. So you can actually drive them much much harder and much faster, um, but but you get great linearity and great transconductance. That means that 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 the, the, the overall distortion in the amplifier falls through the floor. Okay. Um, it, it really is very, very small, uh, very, 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 very um, uh, minor, very, very small. Uh, and um, it means that the amplifier can, because, it's, because it can be driven harder and faster, you, you end up with an amplifier which is uh, quite capable of, of driving square waves uh, well up to 100 kilohertz. Okay. So it means this is very important for transient recovery of, of information. So if you've got a, a fast transient in the music, many amplifiers will not be able to pass those transient, um, uh, the transient information through them. So the thing is, our brains and ears in combination rely on transients to give us positional information. So essentially, if an amplifier can't pass, can't pass very fast transients, the harmonic information that would normally come through, if, if it's not there, your, your brain and ear combination can't judge where anything is. So the sound field will tend to collapse and become very flat. It might appear very wide, but actually it's still flat. Ideally, if, if you, what you should be listening for in a, um, uh, a, a good audio performance is depth. And if, if the DAC is capable of producing depth information, the amplifier should also be. So you've just launched the Ultima Pre? Yes, yes. I mean, the design styling of the products really is form following function. 
Um, my background is avionics mm -hmm. and I draw a lot of my clues either from avionics or from um, uh, really good basic engineering and, and that, that's what I, I, I actually uh, enjoy doing that very much. Uh, and the new, new pre um, is, is um, similar to the uh, um, original SPM 5000, or, sorry the CBA 5000 mm -hmm. pre, uh, but, but this has got um, new uh, circuitry contained within it so essentially whatever the previous one did this does it better okay in what um, way uh just 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 better drive capability faster uh lower distortion lower noise just 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 better all around and where do you make your products we everything we make is made in the in the uk okay uh most of them are actually made in kent okay. we have a few of our uh high volume mobile products made um in 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 other areas within the uk but also in the UK. A long time ago, I, I um, was uh, taken to a, a, a massive um, a digital equipment manufacturing plant down in Clonmel in, in, in Ireland. Okay. And we, it was, I was part of a tour and there were Japanese uh, suppliers. There was my company, not Cord at that time. I was working for a big uh, Asian um, su supplier. And um, the, 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 the guy um, in the... Um, uh, the guy that was running the factory tour, he took us down to their loading bay, which is, it's a huge factory. He opened up the loading bay doors and, and you could see all the, 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 the mountains of Morn or, or, you know, very beautiful countryside. And he said, ah, oh, you couldn't wish for a better view from, from, uh, from, 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 from the loading bay. And I, I, I just recall there was a Japanese guy who spoke very good English and he turned to his colleague and he said, yeah, but. I prefer to see my vendors. In other words, <laughs> in other words, what he was saying is that, that when he opens his, his loading bay, he can see the companies that are supplying him. And I took that philosophy to heart, meaning that um, I don't want my metalwork in a container coming halfway around the world to me, just in case if they've done it wrong, then what am I going to do? I'm, 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 I'm stuffed. I'd rather pay more and get a, a local supplier and work with him to get the quality that I want. Mm -hmm. But if there is a problem, I can just drive down and say, hey, Fred, it's not quite right. You know, can we, can we get this sorted? You know, and that's what we do. Okay. So all of our manufacturing, you know, our, made, you know, our, our boards, everything we do is, is done within the UK. Over these last... Um, 10 years, we've been developing some very advanced core technologies. One of them being the, pro, the, the streaming, others in amplification, others in power. And that's allowing us to, to spin out in different directions. Very big amplifiers, very small amplifiers, very fast amplifiers. So, so, so we can actually um, tailor the, the core technologies into different products in different price ranges for different pockets for different use cases so so that's fundamentally what we've done and, and what we are still doing so there will be more of the same but not the same the interesting thing about the new products is you can use them completely independent of the grid how important and what improvements well, with, with that our, makes with our mobile products yes that is the case yeah but obviously a yeah, large yeah device, I, i'm and, talking and, about the hugo and the, the yeah yeah the hugo and I, I the the thing is um if, if if you're on a plane or or traveling or just walking through a park and you want to listen to audio you've got to use batteries but the main thing is to design very with with very good quality batteries and 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 design very good charging circuitry that protects the batteries in charging, and uh, you know it means you, that you end up with a with a good long life for, for the for the. And you see product. people using these, the these products in yes. the home as their main system, or absolutely, they're 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 more than capable, and in terms of holding their own, they're all top quality reference products. We don't use standard DAC, DAC chips, whereas most companies do. So what, what do you use? Well, we, we use um, an FPGA and, mm -hmm. and the, essentially the program that is developed in, uh, and put into the FPGA um, works as a DAC, but it has 
uh, about a, um, 10,000 or 100,000 times more electronics in our DACs. So therefore, um, the, the way I'd like to describe it is, is our DACs are able to um, put a lot more information back to where it should be on the musical waveform. So it's rather, the, the way I like to think of it is if someone said, right, here's a map of Norway and here is a piece of tracing paper and I'm going to give you a hundred pins to pin out the map of Norway. That's fine. Now, there give are many DACs. There are, there, there are many DACs that have essentially a hundred pins that, or a hundred taps. Mm -hmm. Okay, digital taps. It, we use that term. They, they, they are a way of recovering information. Okay. Okay. And if you only have a hundred of them, most DAC chips that most manufacturers use have about 100 or 125 digital taps or pins mm -hmm. to pin out that outline of, of Norway. Ours have at least um, around 40,000. Oh, wow. And uh, the, the largest and most expensive in our range have up to a million, such as in the M scalar. Okay. So we have a million pins. If you have a million pins, wow. you know, essentially you can get the fine That's detail. Enough. Yeah, and and that that's what we're doing. We're recovering that information. And Dave is the back, uh, the the best DAC you ever heard, because actually there isn't a DAC at any price that can match it in performance. They really can't. They they really cannot do mm -hmm. it, because they're using uh, a different topologies that that within those topologies it's not possible to get to the levels of performance that we do. Um, where do we go from, from there? I, I, I would have said, um, personally, that we can't go much better. But when I talked to Rob Watts, Rob Watts is our digital <laughs> designer. Yeah, yeah. He says that we've hardly got started. Okay. So, you know, he, he is an absolute perfectionist, um, manic audiophile. He will, he will go forever developing and redeveloping and um, you know, basically uh, making a better product. As technology um, uh, comes along, we will use that technology, whatever it is, to make a better product. But having said that, the Dave is um, absolutely uh, the best DAC. Um, there is nothing to touch it. And we're not planning to make a new Dave at this time. So it, it used to be said that, that, that our ears could only hear up to 20 kilohertz. Well, that, that really has been proved to be not the case. For instance, between our ears, there is a, a chain of neurons that receives signals. Um, if, 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 if someone is there, the sound will take a little bit longer to get to this ear. Okay. And the, the chain of neurons, neurons that run between our ears are at something like, I think it's uh, 40, 40 microsecond, no, sorry, 200 microsecond increments between them. Okay. So therefore, we can hear 200 microseconds. So therefore, because we're hearing a difference between, between you know, it, sorry, the, the signal runs down, down and, and wherever, it li wherever it meets. Okay. Okay. Oh, how do I describe this? Yeah. With the chain of neurons, the signals go into our ears. This one's delayed because the sound is having to go around our head. Okay, when well, it goes in, it's a little bit later. So it will actually, by the time that this one has, has reached, the, the, the neuron that fires is a little bit towards this side of your brain. Okay. You know, get the idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if, if the sound is coming from over there, the converse would happen. So So that... You would, you would get uh, the neurons being closer to this end of the string of pearls or what, you know, the way you, you would describe it. Um, and, and, and that neuron would fire when the two signals meet. Okay. Okay. So our aim, uh, because our brain could determine 200 microns, that is indicating that our brain ear combination can be way beyond 20 kilohertz. Have you heard the concept that there's a theory or a whatever it is, that um, ultra-high frequencies, um, we perceive ultra-high frequencies through our eyes. 
I, I can believe it. I mean, the it's thing a is, really interesting. You, you know, it, it, it is. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's like um, I don't know if you've ever been in a very, a, a very cold environment, and then someone has walked close by, and even if you've got your eye closed or eyes closed, you, you can actually something. sense the heat yeah. coming from from uh, from yeah. someone. Yeah. You know, so so we are. Um, uh, you know, we, we, we've got other senses that, that, that are not I, necessarily recognised. I think you're absolutely right, yeah. yeah.